Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a dust effect to a video clip using Adobe Premiere. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got these two video clips. I downloaded them from Pixabay. I'll put links in the YouTube description so you can download both of these clips as well. And I downloaded them at 1080p resolution. So let's go ahead and open up Premiere and we'll drag and drop these into the media pool here. And let's take the tree video clip and drag that onto the timeline. I'm going to right click on this tree clip, unlink it, so I can select the audio and delete that. Let's click on the tree again, press Ctrl C to copy, and we'll move across the timeline and press Ctrl V to paste it. And let's just join those clips together. I just want to have a bit more duration in here. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's left click and zoom in. And we'll right click on this tree clip and we'll go to speed and duration and let's set it to reverse so it will play in the opposite direction on the way back. Let's take the particles and drag and drop them into the second um, video timeline here. So it's sitting above, the, the particles must sit above. I don't want this audio, so let's unlink it, click it and delete it. Let's click on the particles here. Make sure you go to window and make sure effects controls is selected here. And you see the effects in here. And in the blend mode, we want to select the drop down here and set it to screen. Now these particles will be overlaid, so when we click play, we'll see these little dust particles. It looks like snow and sort of dust floating down. So that's how you add dust particles to a video clip. Very nice and simple, but we can do a little bit more than this. So what we do is go over to the effect settings over here, and we're going to type in tint, T-I-N-T, -T for tint. And inside of the uh, color options, let's see, we want... Um, this tint option here. So in color correction, we want tint. We're going to drag and drop that to the particles video clip at the top here. And inside the tint options, in the map to white, we're going to select this and we can change it to a different color. So let's say we want to make the particles red, for example. We'll select a nice red color, something like this, and click OK. And then if we were to hide the um, tree composition, we can see the particles now in here will be this red shade. You can see their red color, right? If we can get a lot of them on the screen, you'll see they're red. So you can change the color from here. You can select a different color. Maybe you want like a yellow, something like a nice yellow color. And then click, click OK here. And that'll be this yellow shade. So let's turn back on the tree. We can turn that back on the background and we can click play. And now we have these yellow particles. So we can change the color of the particles and we can also overlay it and make sure you select screen in here. You can choose some of these other options to experiment with them, but um, you really need to use screen if you want to overlay it in that particular fashion. You can now go and drag and drop other effects on top of this and manipulate it however you like. So that's how I go about quickly adding dust particles. Or you can use this same logic to add sort of a snow effect as well. It kind of works similar, but these look more like dust than snow especially in the way that they're moving. Let's minimize this. Let's close this window. That's how you go about adding dust particle effect to a video clip using Premiere Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.